All right, 19 minutes away from seven, an Australian politician dobs himself into police. That's not the Australian way. John Farnham and Jimmy Barnes speak out against anti-Islam groups who are using their songs, and the lucky country is planning a mass cat cull. Jason Morrison joins me now. Morning to you, Jason. G'day, we've got it all, haven't we? Oh, you just have it all. It's just such a rich tapestry there, isn't it? Um, <laughs> this is a country full of people that can't spell tapestry, but nonetheless. Um, Premier, <laughs> Premier Mike, Mike Baird. Now, this is just so un-Australian, isn't it? He gets away with it and then dobs himself in. Yeah, who does that? Um, I guess a bloke who does it who knows that if it got found out that he got away with it, it would look worse than it does if you get a ticket for doing the illegal U-turn. He goes out for morning tea with his wife on a weekend off and as he gets into the car, looks around, not much traffic, does a U-turn. No seatbelt on, U-turn across double lines. A police car waiting there, bang, got him. Pulls him over, licence and registration. Oh, I know that face. You know, I don't know if that happened. I'm making that bit up. The the, the police officer looked and, and obviously made an assessment and said, hey, look, oh, it wasn't that bad a crime. On your way, mate. Mike Baird's driving home. I would imagine he and his wife's had a bit of discussion about it. Yep. Gets home, calls the local police commander and says, look, you should be aware of this. This happened to me. One of your officers let me off. I still think I was in the wrong. I think you should find me. And they did. And now it's on the front page of the newspaper. So we got a, what, a $311 fine and the loss of three demerit points. But here's the, the question is this. Was he let off because he was the Premier or because the, the traffic officer just thought, well, it's not that big a deal? What do you think? Yeah. He was the Premier. <laughs> like, uh, I've been stopped uh, look, in Australia. I don't, I don't, That's a I don't big know deal. the answer. Yeah. I don't know the answer. I honestly, but I mean, you can imagine uh, blokes booked the Premier. What do you do? Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. you got a, you got a <laughs> rabbit by the tail. Um, all right, John yeah. Farnham, Jimmy Barnes, they're both pretty annoyed that this Reclaim Australia group are using their songs at rallies, but is there anything they can do about it? No, there's not, actually. That's the irony of it. A apart from um, look really positive to those who think the, the groups are disgusting and despicable, and uh, that's how they're being portrayed in, in, in the press, and, of course, that's how the artists are now being portrayed as real heroes for standing up to the groups. But, no, they can't. I mean, anyone can perform and play a song. You can't stop it. Well, this is a price um, of popularity, really, isn't it? <laughs> it is, isn't it? And both the songs are popular. I mean, K Sands, a massive Australian hit. You're the voice, Johnny Farnham's song is, is huge. It's an international hit. And um, it's been used for everything. Absolutely every cause, everywhere, and often without permission. And so the artists come out, they get all the left-wing cred they want, and at the same time, the conservative, far-right far conservative groups are you know, calling them sellouts and gutless wonders and whatever else, and, and probably what will happen is today more people will buy the songs on Absolutely. YouTube. Absolutely. I was just going to say it's a win-win <laughs> for right. Farnham and Barnes. Um, yep. Well, it sounds like a circus act. Um, feral cats. It does, now, it does it. Uh, Brigitte Bardot is offside with you now. Yeah, we've upset everyone. Uh, the government has sort of made it lawful to cull cats. There is a problem. I, re I, I don't know how they get this figure. They reckon there's 20 million stray cats. So there's more stray cats than there are Kiwis in Australia. There's more stray cats than there are Australians in Australia. Um, we, we've got we, we've got a problem. And they want to get rid of them. They want to bait them and kill them. Bridget Bardot and the Peter mob uh, are off their head about it. And Bridget Bardot, and this will be big news in Australia, has written an open letter to the world about Australia's appalling... Uh, animal rights this time, not human rights, animal mm. rights record, because uh, not only do we kill kangaroos because there's too many of them, and sometimes we, we kill koalas because there's, a, you know, an infected group of them, now we're killing cats, and that's a crime against humanity. Um, whereas in reality it's just a crime against cats. Uh, but right. there are 20 million, that's a lot of feral cats. Uh, Jason, thank you very much. We will talk again next week. Jason Morrison, Thanks, our Australian correspondent. 20 million cats. Brig Brigitte Bardot is, I'm thinking... Either late 70s or early 80s. She'd have Still to be. Still going yeah, strong. She'd have to be late there. 70s at the youngest.